high. Focus on connecting. Situations in real life often involve problems that you can solve using mathematical process. You can make connecting mathematics to real life easier by drawing diagram to illustrate the situation. You can use the diagram to help you solve the problem. You can also use other strategies such as making an organized list or looking for a pattern. Often in solving problems, you need to make connections among different areas of mathematics. For example, to amount of the paint needed, you would use measurement, geometry and number skills. Let's investigate a problem. A super ball is dropped from a height of 100 cm. Okay. A super ball is dropped from a height of 100 cm. When it lands on the ground, it bounces to a height that is 75% of the previous height. What is the total distance traveled by the ball? At the moment, it bounces for the fifth time. Super ball is dropped from a height of 100 cm. A good strategy is to Draw a diagram. Let's say this is the super ball. Okay. Here's the ground. And the ball is dropped from a height of 100 centimeters. Let's say this is the height, the path ball is following a hundred centimeter. The ball bounces to a height. 75% of the previous height and 75% of a cent is 75 so the ball will not stay here for long it will definitely come back so 75 centimeter going up 75 centimeter going down coming down the question is what is the total distance traveled by the ball at the moment when it bounces for the fifth time okay going up coming down going up coming down going up coming down that's it this is the fifth time when the ball is bouncing the ground. Let me show you a clear picture of this story. The ball is coming from here, bouncing back, here, this, and this. Number one, two, three, four, and number five. Okay, this is hundred. 75 percent of 100 this is 75 100 plus 2 times 75 okay and then what is this distance 75 percent of 75 right that means 0 0.75 times 75 equals 0 0.75 times 75 okay so this is 56.25 centimeter 
56.25 centimeter so let's write it down here 56.25 okay what is this distance this is this is 75 percent of 56.25 that means 0 0.75 times 56.25 0.75 and it equals 42.1875 so 2 times 42.1875 ok what is this distance again this is 75% of 42.1875 so that means you have to time it by 0 0.75, right? 0 0.75 times 42.1875. And this is 31.6407. So plus two times thirty one point six four zero six two five hmm. two times seventy five equals a hundred and fifty and don't forget the hundred okay fifty six point two five times two this is a hundred and twelve point five forty two point one eight seven five time it with 2 we will get 84.375 ok thirty one point six four zero six two five times 2 equal 63.2 eight one two five now let's add all these numbers to get the final answer a hundred plus a hundred and fifty plus a hundred and twelve point five plus eighty four point three seven five plus sixty three point two eight one two five all right so the ball will travel this much distance 510.15625 centimeters we connected uh, this real life problem using diagrams and found the total distance which is 510.15625 centimeter the aces hockey team has played five games okay a win is worth two points a tie is a worth one point and loss is worth zero. Zero points. Determine the number of different point totals the aces could have after five games. So choose a strategy. Diagram? No, it will not work here. List. Table. Table will work. So we will make 
a table so wins loses ties and this is for total points okay let's start with the good thing hope all the five matches the aces win then loses zero tie zero second possibility let's say four wins that means one lose zero tie or zero loses and one ties three wins so and, and let's say two loses zero tie again three wins one loses one tie three wins zero lose and two ties two wins and three loses so zero tie again two wins reduce three by one so two loses and one tie two wins again one loses and two ties one more possibility two wins zero loses and three ties okay if ace is win only one match so four loses zero tie second possibility one three and one one two and two one four three two one so this would be one one two and this is three okay one zero and four here one no all done right let's say if aces wins zero matches so and five loses zero ties so zero here zero here zero here okay so four loses then one tie three loses then two tie two loses then three ties one loses four ties okay and and zero loses all the five matches ties this zero has to go go away bit. total points as each win is worth two points so we have to do like this two times five if i am doing this plus zero plus zero to get the total right so 
we have to apply this formula to find the total on all of these okay wins times 2 plus nothing to do with loss right because it has zero worth so go away please but this one okay now apply this in the whole column B All right. We were asked to determine the number of different total points the aces could have after five games. So I think from zero to ten, everything is here. Look here: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10. There are 11 possible point totals between zero and 10 points Fermi problem Fermi problem many problems don't have exact answers for example how many Hockey pucks are in Canada. We don't have an exact answer for this. A Fermi problem is one that uses estimation in its solution. It is solved by asking appropriate questions whose answers lead to the next stage in the solution. Making connections and Using various mathematical skills are important aspects of the solution. Enrico Fermi nineteen oh one nineteen fifty four. He was an Italian physicist who used to like to pose these kind of problems. Let's see an example. How many jelly beans will fill a 4 liter jar? I need to figure out the size of a jelly bean. Then how many fit into a 4 liter jar? I will need to account for a space between the beans. Let's use estimation and make some assumptions. What shape is a jelly bean? It is roughly the shape of a cylinder. It is about 1.5 centimeter long and about 0 0.5 centimeter in radius. So let's find the approximate volume of a jelly bean. Formula of volume of a cylindrical shape is equal to pi r square h 1.5 centimeter long and 0.5 centimeter is it is its radius. So let's plug in the values here pi 
0 0.5 square times 1.5. 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 this is 0 0.25 times 1.5 times 5 3.14 this is 1.17 so let's take a round off value 1.17 2 cubic centimeter. Approximately, okay. Now, what is the volume of this 4 liter jar in cubic centimeter? As 1 liter is equal to a thousand cubic centimeter. So, 4 liter jug or jar is equal to 4000 cubic centimeter. Now adjust for the space between the jelly beans. Air might take up about 10 percent of the total volume. So 90 percent of the remaining volume is covered by the jelly beans and 90 percent of 4000 is 0 0.90 times 4000 which is equal 3600 right cubic centimeter This is the space taken by the jelly beans in a 4 liter jar approximately. So, time to find number of jelly beans. Just divide the two volumes and you will get number of jelly beans. So, the number of jelly beans equal volume of jar divided by volume of a jelly bean. Instead of jar, we can say space taken by the beans. This is fair enough, I guess. Okay, so this is 3600 divided by 1.2. 3600 divided by 1.2 equals 3000. So about 3,000 jelly beans will fill the jar completely. A 4 liter jar is pretty big. So, in order to test my answer, I could fill in a 250 milliliter jar with the beans and count the jelly beans and then times it by 16 to get the number of jelly beans in a 4 liter jar since uh, 16 times 250 equals 4000 which equals 4 liter jar the volume of the jar let's stop here take care goodbye